Right behind the niche. What's up guys? Welcome back to Bath and Shower Tile Ideas, episode 40. We're at the property where we remodeled a massive failure of a master shower and bath. We're going to start the second bathroom today. We have a gut feeling that this second shower is going to be failing as well. It is on the subfloor. Today is demo day and we have our utility trailer. It's a rainy day. It's not gonna stop us. Get our little workout. We got our little utility trailer here. We're gonna set it up over there and get going with this demo. Here we go. All right, let's show you this bathroom. So here it is. The before. Episode 40, tile ideas. Everything's coming out. We're not going down to studs. Just simply at the vanity, top sink, mirrors. We're gonna R&R &R those with some LED trim kits. New toilet, we're going to install a cabinet with filler for storage there. Here's the floor, it looks like we have 18 by 18 ceramic. We're keeping these shower doors. It does not look like it's floated. So I'm assuming this is built the same way as the master shower that horribly failed drywall on Hardy Backer. So let's open it up. And again, as you can see there, very similar large format shower pan as the massive failure upstairs in the master bedroom, but this is still on a subfloor. Everything is going to be removed. This is a three by three shower. We're gonna install a new valve, raise the shower head, rip everything out. Let's get to work. Now our new marble top has a very small backsplash. So we're simply gonna cut this old backsplash out, install some new drywall. It looks like this vanity is coming out in one piece. It is in good shape still. Tiled, sink, faucet. List this on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist for a couple hundred bucks, but already discovering some interesting things. You can see the plumbing down there. You've got your drain exposed, sticking up out of this float. Looks like this bathroom floor is floated. Very strange. Got a fresh water line and a drain down there. Let's open the shower up. All right, here it is. Demo is complete. Walls are open. Got some funky stuff going back here. With our ABS vent here, we've got some crazy three inch pipe just shooting up. Not sure what that is. A lot of wasted room in this cavity over here. It was built to house this little space here. But yeah, not a total failure. Of course, you've got some moisture down there. Typical but nothing wicked up the walls. It looks like our subfloor is intact. Mind you, this shower was rarely used. So good news for the client, we don't have to remove and repair the subfloor. So let's rip this up. We 
we've got a little pre-slope here. Little pre-slope, we'll remove that next. And demo is ultimately finished, excluding the floor. Moving on. We're gonna waterproof. We've got our shower pan already in. Six by 24 inch porcelain planks. Curdy board up, framing the niche right now. Unfortunately, there was a big delay with our tile. So we boarded everything up except for this so that we can pull measurements to have a full tile land at the end or the bottom of the niche. So yeah, rolling out some Curdy band. Gonna waterproof, go pick up tile and get this shower tiled quickly. Should take us no more than two days to tile this entire shower. Mitered niche, 12 by 24. Trim edge you know, over here will be jolly. Pretty quick, pretty simple, pretty easy. <laughs> Okay, shower's waterproofed. Got to cover a couple more screws here, but took about 30 minutes to waterproof this Schluter shower. Here's the wall tile, high-end Italian porcelain. Fantastic print. I mean, this print is so similar to marble. It looks wonderful. This ran about $7 a square foot. Here's the planks, obviously. And here is our glass mosaic to give the back of the niche some pop. We've got some browns in there that complements the floor. Some gray, some blue, and some green. It's gonna look wonderful right behind the niche. Here we go, let's install some wall tile and finish up this little small area of flooring. Time to get to work. 33% offset is our layout.